Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, the Saiyan Day celebration on both Global and JP has officially started, and even though there's been some, uh, you know, nonsense or shenanigans on Global recently, I'm honestly still pretty excited for the celebration. So, with all that said, let's jump into the news here and see what's going on. Okay, so here we go. Awakened Battle Instinct, Saiyan Day Campaign, that is a dope promo pick right there. Uh, it says, obtain awesome rewards including Dragon Stones through the login bonus and missions during the campaign period, a co-op campaign that requires you to cooperate with players from all over the world will also be available. In addition, LR, Indestructible Evil Saiyan Legendary Super Saiyan Broly can be extremely awakened through the new Extreme Z battle. Come join the event and enjoy the Saiyan Day campaign. So I'm pretty sure we already know about most, if not all of the events, but there could be a few surprises, okay? So first things first, we have a login bonus, pretty standard. We have the special missions. In total, we can get up to 48 Dragon Stones, 30 plus 18 for completing all the missions, which is not bad, above average for sure. And we have some Dragonstone sales, uh, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Okay, so we got five 32 stone packs for 50% off, and then 91 stone packs eight times for 20% off. Um, usually, you know, for like a standard banner, it's like, you know, three or four 91 stone packs, and then one 32 stone pack. So this time around, um, I would definitely recommend to pick up the 32 stone packs if you guys are pay to play. If not, then obviously don't worry about it, right? We have the new Broly banner along with the Super Saiyan Trunks, um, which is dropping at 10, 8, okay, so it says 10, 18, that's Pacific Standard Time, which means that's going to be 11, 18, uh, Pacific Daylight Time, and for people who are in, you know, my time zone, Eastern Daylight Time, it's going to be uh, 2, 18 a.m. Okay, this morning, I was very confused about the different time zones. But uh, the reason they did 18, specifically 1118 Pacific Daylight Time, PDT, is because that converts to 318 PM, uh, Japan Standard Time, JST. So obviously, same day is on uh, March 18th, and also 318 sounds like Saiyan in Japanese, so that's why it's at 318 PM. Hopefully that made sense, but that's the reason for the time, because it's kind of random, right? And uh, from there, we have the Planetary Destruction um, category banner. Obviously, skip that. This is the new, this is the new category led by the Broly, but uh, these banners are pretty bad. So definitely, if you guys are going to summon, spend you know any stones you plan to spend on this banner and not this banner. All right. From there, we have the other Kai banner. We have the new uh, Dokkan event stage for the new Broly. We have the ooh, permanently available starting from... Oh wait, no, Infinite Dragon Ball History is always permanently available, right? But uh, we have a new stage. The, the, what's it called? Uh, Ab Abominable Saiyans or something like that? I forgot the name, honestly, for the stage, but it's basically you're facing a bunch of Saiyans starting with uh, either Nappa or Raditz. Oh, no, it's, it's Raditz first. And then finally, you face Broly at the end. Seven enemies in total. And we also have two new stages of Extreme Z Area Hero Extermination Plan. The first one's for... The Gohan, I think the Int Gohan, and the other one is for, I believe the Fizz Goku, or AGL. I forgot his type. Either way, it's a Goku and uh, Gohan Extreme Z Awakenings. One is available uh, tonight, the other one is available uh, in about a week. And then we have a couple of Dokkan events, obviously, that are related to uh, probably the banner, Ashley. So these are the... Uh, Dokkan events that are going to be available every single day throughout the entire campaign and this has led to people to believe that these are going to be the featured units on the banner. One weird thing though is that Bardock is currently featured on the um, Bojack banner, right? So I feel like there's a pretty low chance that he's going to be on the Sand Day banner this year. I mean, it could be. We'll have to see, you know, in a couple hours, but for now... Um, I, I feel like the other ones are very likely, obviously, like this Broly, of course, this Broly 2, Super Saiyan 3 Broly, uh, Kid Goku, sure, why not, Namek Goku, fine, not super excited for it, but it is what it is, and the LR Blue Boys, I mean, I think everybody predicted that these guys are going to be on the banner, so 
Yeah, I feel like everyone here, with the exception of Bardock, will be on the banner. Maybe he'll be, he'll be on the banner too. It's just it's kind of weird to have him featured twice back to back, right? But we'll see. We'll see once again. So uh, from there, we have a bunch of story events that are coming back or going to be uh, available during the campaign. We have the Bio Broly event. We have the Dragon Ball Super Broly event. The uh, Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan story event. And also the trio led by Fate. And then there are three Extreme Z battles that are going to be available throughout the uh, campaign too. Obviously for the three Broly's, we have the Extreme Z area for the Kid Saiyans coming back too. Uh, oh, Extreme Z Legendary Summon is on. Okay, so uh, the Broly Extreme Z Awakening, Extreme Z battle is going to be available on the 22nd. And I guess they are bringing back the banner to, uh, or a banner for people who want to summon for the Broly. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's going to look like, like how many featured units there will be, what the rates are going to be, but I'm assuming it's going to be much higher than like a regular uh, Legendary Summon banner. But we'll see. We'll see once uh, that drops. And then we have the Extreme Z battle, of course, for LR Broly. Such a monster, man. Insane, insane Extreme Z awakening. Like this dude, I, I saw some uh, some previews, like uh, people who you, know, who, you know, run like private servers and stuff like that. And... I'm pretty sure I saw him get like 7 plus million on the first super and then additional super was like 4 or something like that and then of course if you get a third super that's another 4 million. He's just putting up some crazy numbers while also having some really good defense upon supering so uh, yeah I can't wait for this man. I cannot wait for this. This guy needed an easy A so bad and they, they did him justice. They definitely did him justice. So yeah 20 second guys. Look forward to that. And then of course we have the uh, co-op campaign, we have the new explosive chain battle starting on the 24th, which uh, is going to give, or rather the uh, boss is going to be a Super Saiyan 2 Youth Gohan. And then we have a couple of other story events that are going to be available um, later on for like I guess part 2, and uh, that's going to be on the 24th once again. So uh, yeah, that looks like everything that we can expect from... Okay, so one thing that's weird is uh, I was expecting to see the LR Prime Battle Krillin um, Legendary Campaign, you know, in the news here. Because we saw in the files, there's a mission that's uh, scheduled for the 25th, March 25th, that, uh, you know, talks about, like, you know, awakening uh, LR Krillin to get, like, some, you know, Reversal medals, something like that, but that usually means, you know, we're getting a legendary campaign. So I'm surprised that it's not in the news here. I guess maybe they'll reveal it later. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise right now. But, uh, spoilers. LR Krillin's Extreme Z. But I keep saying Extreme Z. No, he's not getting Extreme Z Awakening yet, but he is getting his legendary campaign where we can get some, like, you know, stones and kais and orbs for, uh, awakening him. So. Uh, yeah, that's happening as well. From there, we can look at the login bonus. I'm pretty sure it's just going to be... Uh, oh, 3, 1... Okay, so 3 stones... Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 hold on. No, 3, 1, 8 for the first day. So, that's 13 stones, right? No, 12 stones. No, th no 12 stones. <laughs> Math. Can be hard sometimes, guys. Uh, 12 stones, a sleepy Kai, and then 1 stone per day for the rest of the logins. And that looks to be about it. And then from there, we have some special missions. Like I said, 48 Dragon Stones. Uh, I can get some Elder Kai's, or Sleepy Kai's rather, some Awakening Medals. Um, you know, Hercule Statues, standard stuff, nothing too crazy here. And that seems to be about it. Okay, so there's nothing else to talk about here. That is the Saiyan Day campaign. We are getting, once again, the Prime Battle Krillin uh, Legendary campaign in about a week from now. And... Uh, I guess that's that's all. Uh, it, it, it's not a bad campaign for sure. I mean, the Broly's awesome. The Extreme Z Awakening's awesome for the LR Broly. Uh, only one new event, technically. I mean, technically, there's two new events, but Dokkan events don't count, right? So, like, only one new stage for an event. Oh, uh, no, I forgot about... Uh, I forgot about Explosive Chain Battle, even though I really hate this event, man. I really do. I, I, don't, I don't even want to count it, to be honest, because it's not fun. It's not fun at all. So I guess, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I, I'd say it's decent. I'd say it's a decent campaign. There, there could be more content for sure, like new content. If you guys are new, then obviously 
you can grind a lot of this stuff, but uh, for older players, we're probably going to be, you know, out of things to do fairly quickly. But uh, I'm excited to test out this Broly nonetheless. Uh, I would definitely pull him no matter what, as you guys can see. The boy's got a decent amount of stones, you know, not as much as some other YouTubers, but for me, this is this is not bad. And uh, of course, I'm, I'm planning to still save the majority of my whaling for the anniversary um, in like three, four, uh, four months from now. So yeah, that's probably all I'm going to spend, about 1500 and uh, hopefully that's enough to pull at least one copy, if not a two for two as well. I do have the stream coming up tonight. If you guys are going to be awake around 2 a.m. Uh, Eastern Daylight Time, then, uh, you know, be there. Uh, if not, then you can watch the video after. It's all it's all good. And, uh, of course, uh, we also got a few collabs. We got two three-way collabs with some people that I haven't collabed with before. So get excited for that. And that's it. That's all I gotta say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys are stoked for all this same day stuff. And uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.